All Amen. right. Good. Welcome, everyone, to God's Daily Dose, where we come together for a daily dose of God's Word. So it is December, and this month we are reading in the Gospel of Matthew. And, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season, so we want to be learning and growing in His Word and um, sharing the love of Jesus with everybody. So that's why we're reading the book of Matthew this month. And um, as we read along, we just want to be reflecting um, our own self, our own life on the word. Are we living according to the word? Amen. So um, we've been reading, uh, we're, we're going to pick up today in Matthew 7. We just finished Matthew 6 yesterday. And Jesus has been um, given his sermon on the mount. And as he's been teaching, um, yesterday he, he spoke on, on uh, I'm sorry, um, on giving, as, to give in private, not to, to flaunt it, not to be out, um, you know, getting praise for you doing a good deed. Um, and then also he gave us the model prayer, which all of us know to be the Lord's prayer. And it to model that prayer in our own lives, you know, um, as we pray, that's the perfect model prayer for us. But also, um, he spoke on, you know, seeking first God's kingdom and his righteousness and not to be worried about things when we seek God. Um, and so today we're going to pick up in seven. So please join us in Matthew seven. Judge not that you be not judged for with what judgment you judge, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye? Hypocrite, first remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be open. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give you, sorry, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Before, or sorry, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name? And done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will like, liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, 
and the wind blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who bears these th sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand, and the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. And so it was, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that the people were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Amen. Amen. Oh, wow, there's a lot here. So, Jesus is telling us not to judge one another. Amen. So, the judgment that he's, he's speaking on is a condemnation, a judgment of condemnation. We have righteous judgment, amen, to where we have the right to discernment. God gives us discernment, but at the same time, we want to use that discernment wisely. Um, we don't want to be given foolish judgment, and especially when we ourselves sin. How can you judge someone else when you sin differently from them? It's sin is sin, you know, so um, really... Um, we want to be more concerned with our own selves and making sure we can stand righteous before judgment on the judgment day. Amen. And yes, we want to be able to help our brother if they fall. But at the same time, we want to be that person that they can come to when they sin and, and they can confide in us. And we as a brother help rise them above that sin and not in a condemnation of judgment, a righteous judgment to help them with the word and through the word. Amen. And so um, also he goes on to say, do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine. So dogs and swine were wild animals. They were considered vicious and unclean and abominable. And they would be what we consider God haters. And so what he's saying in here is there are some people that we are not even going to be able to speak to. They don't want to hear nothing to do with God, and that's okay. We are to just let them be, you know, uh, because anything we give them, the holy word, they aren't going to take it. They're just going to, you know, what does it say? Uh, they're going to trample it under their feet and, and turn and tear you to pieces. They're going to judge you for you trying to give them a righteous uh, word. Amen? So um, there are some people we're not going to be able to, to, to reach, so... And um, that's, that's just something we're going to have to deal with in life, you know. Um, he, he speaks on prayer, you know, ask, seek, and knock. There are times when we think the door may be closed, but if we ask and we're seeking God and we knock, if it's in his will, he will open that door for us. So don't, um, you know, don't think that you can't ask. Even if it's something silly, there's always uh, ask anyways. You know, pray always and about everything. So ask. All he can do is say no. If it's not in his will, then he's not going to provide. But if it if it's within his will, then he will provide it. And um, he, you know, it will be answered. So um, let's not shy away from asking the Lord in anything. You know, we want to be prayerful always. Um, and then also he speaks on the narrow gate. You know, Jesus says he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way. So that is a very, very narrow. We look into, at society and all the different different other ways they say that there is to go, but truly all those ways lead to destruction. There is only one way, and it is the narrow way. So we that's the way we want to go. And unfortunately, sometimes that may mean that um, we lose friends and we lose family and we may... It may be a, a lonely road on that on that road, but that's why we have fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, we have a forever family in Christ, a, a body of one, um, because sometimes that road is very very difficult. Um, and so, uh, but that's the way we want to seek. Are you seeking the narrow way? That's what we want to seek, the narrow way. Um, and then also, we are known by our fruits. What fruits are we producing? Uh, okay, so when we think of the fruits, we're thinking of Christ-like fruits, you know, prayer, um, love, compassion, peace, all these things, discipleship. When we uh, reach somebody else in the Word and they come to know Christ, 
That is your fruit. You bring in somebody to know Christ, amen? That is fruit that you are producing, the Holy Spirit working in you to bring that person to Christ. So we want to be producing fruit, um, good fruit, you know, because there, what does it say? The good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. But we are known by our fruit, so we want to be producing fruit. Strive for that. We um, And we... He gives us warning, you know, that not everyone that says they know him actually knows him. You know, we, we see when we hear throughout the word, um, there are wolves in sheep's clothing. You know, we have to know the word to know that what we are being taught and what, um, what, what uh, the people we are associating with that they are truly who they say they are. Um, and we know that by being in the word. So um, do you know Jesus? Will he say he knows you, you know? Um, and then we want to be building our, rock, our house on Jesus, the foundation of Jesus, on the foundation of God, on the word itself. So today's daily reminder, let's fully rely on God each and every day. Let's submit ourselves to God, have faith and trust in Jesus and the promises of, of is his promises that the word gives us. Uh, we want to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and not the worldly kingdom that we live in. Our hearts should be heaven bound. Amen. And we want to be in the word daily, but we don't want to just know it. We want to live it, love it, and obey it. And we want to pray always and about everything. So I want to give you all encouragement. Please come out and join us for Bible study um, here. After we end here, we're going to we're gonna uh, have a discussion on today's word and really just take it all in. So I want to encourage you all to meditate on the word. Reflect on yourself. Are you living the word? You know, are we living up to the standards that Jesus is asking us here um, and that he's teaching us here? This is the standards that we should be living up to, godly standards. Amen. So. I just want to encourage y'all again to come out. We see, hope to see y'all soon. Y'all have a blessed day.